Yes, brother. My name is Kailash. I am an atheist. My question is, why do Muslims believe that Jesus is born without any biological father when there is a Quran uh, says that Allah says that he is the originator of heaven and earth, how come he can have a son without any consort? We ask the question that Muslims believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was born without any biological father. father. But the Quran says, how shall Almighty God have a son when he doesn't have a wife? As far as the miracle of Isa alayhi salam, Quran says in Surah Al-Imran chapter 3 verse number 47, when Maryam alayhi salam says, Mother Mary, that how shall I have a son when no man has touched me? The reply comes back, Angel Gabriel, amran, When Allah decrees the matter, He just said to it, be and it is. Similarly, in Surah Al-Imran chapter 3 verse number 59, Allah says, Inna masala Isa in the like masal Adam. Khalaqa min turab, summa kala lukun fayakun. The similitude of Jesus in front of Allah is like Adam, that he was created from dust and said be and it was. So what we realize that Almighty God, normally by nature, human beings are born by mother and father. But to show the power of Allah, that he can create even without a father, the example is Isa alayhi salam. Another miracle Allah did, created a human being without mother or father, that is Adam, peace be upon him. But the verse of the Quran saying that Almighty God doesn't have a son, neither does he have a consort, neither does he have a wife. And furthermore, Quran also says that if Allah begot a son, say, I would be the first person to bow down to him. That doesn't mean Allah has a son. It's saying that there's no question of Allah begetting because begetting is an animal act. It is function of lower animals of sex. That's the reason Allah will not beget. Allah does not require a wife also. Wife is required by us human beings. Mating is the function of no animal of sex. So these verses of the Quran, that if Allah has a son, I would be the first to bound, is negating that Allah can never have a son. Neither does Allah require a wife. So these are concepts of the Quran trying to say, don't belittle Allah by saying, Almighty God has a wife or has a son. It is not the dignity of Allah who is so gracious to have a son or to have the wife. Wa akhiru dawana, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.